You know my next guest tonight from Saturday Night Live and the millions of things he's done since, including the Colbert Report, Strangers with Candy, and his latest is No Activity on CBS All Access. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Mr. Tim Meadows. <laughs> I just want to point out that only half the people stood up. <laughs> it's not cool, CBS. That's, that's not bad. Half ovation? That's not bad at all. Yeah, oh yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that's what every artist wants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, half the crowd stood up to me last <laughs> night, Mom. It was beautiful. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I know. How, how, have, you, how have you been? You look absolutely lovely. Thank you very much. Yeah, you look uh, very hale, hearty, debonair, as I said. Thank you. I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm, you know. Uh, as you, I mean, I'm getting older, which sucks. Um, you know what I'm saying, though. I have right? no idea what you're yeah, talking no. about. Right no, I just I'm, find it is weird. I just, I've, I'm surprised by the amount of grunting that's involved when you get older. Mm -hmm. Like I just mm -hmm. grunt all the time, you know. Uh huh. Like, is I it alarm down. people? Or it is. Well, you know, people get like they get shocked. I, I, like I'll grunt getting up like that, you know, sitting down. So I started throwing people off. So I, I'll say their a name of someone when, instead of grunting. I go like, oh, Stephen, oh, how are you? <laughs> sort of highs the grunt. That did not, that did not throw me off at all. Uh, I grunted your name. You grunted my name. Yeah. How wow. often does that happen? That's intimate. Now, <laughs> now, okay. What kids keep you young, though? You've yes. got kids. How yeah. old are your boys now? They getting up there? Yeah. They get up there. Yeah. Mid forties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 40, 45. I don't You're know. like 72, something like yeah, that. Something yeah. like that, a little older than I am. They, How old are the kids now? My kids now, my two boys, one is 16, and the other will be 18 next month. And they're both great. Those are almost men now. Yes, they yeah. are. Uh, my oldest son is 6'2, which is, if, if, yeah, you should be shocked, America. <laughs> You're not that you're not that tall of a fellow. No, I don't have anything on my body that would be 6'2, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it would be odd. Yeah. It would be odd if you did. If I had one thing on my body that was like about a 6'2 like and arm. your body was not 6'2, that would be freakish. You could be in a circus. Yeah. But anyway. But yeah. he's he's bigger than me, which is which is disconcerting. Sure, is the word I'm looking for. My son, my eldest son, is six two as well. He's, is he? Yeah. yeah. Are, is he the same kid? <laughs> are, is our kid the same? <laughs> Do not. I don't know. I, I, I've yeah. never seen him in the same room together. I want to see pictures <laughs> of your son. Okay. All right. Yeah. But no. But now you know this. Then it's intimidating now because when they're younger, <laughs> you could yell at them and make them do stuff. Yeah. And now, like, I got, I had a little problem with my son uh, over the summer, and I was, like, upset at him, and I was talking to him very close. And so I'm yelling up like that. That's the weird part. Yeah, and then I realized I need perspective, so I walked across the room and yelled at him from across the room. Because <laughs> I didn't want him to, like, suddenly realize, like, I'm bigger than you. <laughs> boom, boom. Just get up on the ottoman. <laughs> Every time, every time he's done something bad, go, excuse me, I'm gonna go change a light bulb on this ladder, <laughs> and then you're gonna get it, young man. I got something to tell you when yeah. I get on this ladder. But even when you hug him, it's kind of weird because it you is. hug him, then your head's on their chest. Yes. They're patting They're you. They're like patting like... you on the head and yeah. everything. It's, it's bad. Not, it's not comforting. Can at you all. can you take him in? Because uh, another way to still you know establish dominance, because mm. it's not just size, it's experience. Right. Is is in sports? Do you do you play uh, games against your kids? Do you still beat them? I'm like, I used to be really good at beating them when they were toddlers. <laughs> you know you what I'm saying? You could dunk on them. You could dunk them on yeah, the I Fisher Price. Yes. On the Fisher Price. Right it's like there. get out of the way. Watch this. <laughs> And then, as they got older, uh -huh. like my oldest son is really into swimming. He's on, he's on a water polo team at high school, and he's on the swim team. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we were at this uh, private health club that I'm a part of. Yeah, I, I'm rich. Well, a health club? Yeah, it's a, a health club. For rich people. Wow. Go ahead. And uh -huh. so, anyways, I'm at this private rich health club. <laughs> my son is uh, going to give me some swimming tips. And so he goes, just jump. <laughs> He goes, just get in the water and swim. So we raced. He did, he did a lap, and I did half a lap. He turned around, came back, and finished a lap. 
So he did two laps in the time it took me to do one. And I was just like, what happened to my sweet little boy, you know? Mm -hmm. And then my big fear was like, you know, because it's a, it's a deep end of the pool. My, my big fear was that I would get to the deep end of the pool and then start to give up and start drowning, you know? <laughs> and then my son would have to come and save my life, you know? The, but the deep fear is that you're drowning at the end of the pool and he doesn't come and save you. <laughs> That is true. Yeah. But at this exclusive uh, Rich People's Health Club. Oh, yeah. I hear it's very nice. It's very nice. It's very nice. We have lifeguards. <laughs> oh, so it's, uh, whatever. That's worry. nice. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, speaking of rich and exclusive, yes. uh, you guys got season two of the CBS All Access show, No Activity. Yes. What's it about? And please explain it to our audience in terms that our audience would understand. Okay. Which is uh, compare it to Blue Bloods. <laughs> Are you Tom Selleck? In, I, in this cop drama. I am sort of like Tom Selleck's mustache, I oh. guess would be. So you're the star. I'm the star of the you're show. The star. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you, if, you, if I'm not there, something is weird. You know yeah. what I mean? Just like Tom Selleck's mustache. Exactly, yeah. If he doesn't have his mustache, you're going, who is that dude? Right? Too much lip. Yeah. And, and so it's a, it's a show about uh, two cops on stakeout, basically. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're watching other people... Uh, on the stakeout, and um, we are chase scenes, or no, it's a lot of sitting down in the car talking, basically. <laughs> Hence we... the name, no, no activity. activity. No That's activity. the name of yes. <laughs> no activity. Some people okay. like to say it's uh, like uh, waiting for Godot on acid. <laughs> Those people are cool. I like that phrasing. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. wait, don't give up on me now. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> you stay here with me. We're gonna get through this thing. Did you sense in me just now? Yeah. Some enormous sea change you, uh, that I just, I was just pulling the rip cord and I'm about to just, five. <laughs> like that, is that what I you can, were feeling? I can hear the air go out of your body. Yeah, like, you waited, oh boy. You waiting, for, you waiting for Craig to hit the lights just now? <laughs> now, uh, uh, who are you? I'm Tim now? Meadows. You're, you're Tim Meadows. Yeah. We have a clip here, I understand. Yes, you, should I set this up? No. No? Sure, what's happening? What's happening? Uh, 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 we're trying to decide. Uh, what, what, I forgot what it is. Don't, don't bail on me now. Don't. <laughs> I'm not going to bail. Um, it, You're, in You're in a car. You're in a car. I'm in a car. Cigar. Yes! And so we're trying to. I'm going to give. <laughs> now I remember! There's no time. I don't need your help. Wait. We're getting ready to, uh, and so we're giving each other, I'm gonna give him a signal, because he's gonna be in the car with this woman. Your partner. And, yes, and so I'm gonna go, hey, I got a signal, and I'm gonna split when I give you the signal. That's the clip. Let's come up with a code. Okay, okay. Uh, All right, uh, oh, I got it. Uh, I'm gonna say, um, well, I think it's time for me to step out and have my cigar. And then you'll say, oh, are you crazy? Those things will kill you. Okay, why am I saying that? Because it just shows you have some compassion for other people. Okay. You care about my health, my okay. well-being. Why cigar, though? That seems a little silly. I mean, why don't you just step out and make a call? No, I'm going to have my cigar, oh. okay? Oh, so it's not code at all. You're, you're going to be smoking it. When did you start smoking a, a cigar? Uh, it's been a few weeks. I just wanted to see what it looks like, you know? See how I look with a cigar. I totally get it. It's like Blue Bloods. Yeah, exactly like Blue Bloods. Tim, good to see you. Always a pleasure, my man. The entire second season of No Activity is available now on CBS All Access. Tim Meadows, everybody. We'll be right back.